Hey guys, in this video we are going to talk about half-life. And half-life of a radioactive substance is a real-world application of logarithms. So the formula we use for half-life is A equals A naught C to the exponent of T over P. And A is equal to the amount of substance that's left over. A naught is the amount you start with. C is a number, so it would be a half for half-life. It would be three if it's a period how long it takes for a substance to triple. C would be two if it's how long it takes the substance to double. Fifteen, so not fifteen, T is the amount of time in years. And P is how long it takes to double, triple, half, whatever your question is dealing with. So let's do an example. We have 100 grams of a substance that's going to decay to 5 grams in 15 years. So we end up with 5 grams. We started with 100. We know that its half-life is 15. In 15 years, it's half-life. We don't know how long its half-life is, but we know that it is a half-life question. First thing, divide by 100, and you'll get 5 divided by 100. That's 0 0.05 equals 1 half to the exponent of 15, the time in years, over p, how long it takes to do its half-life. We'll take the log of both sides. Log 0 0.05 equals power rule of logs. We'll get 15 over p times log of 1 half. Divide both sides by log of a half. And the both base 10. If you don't see the base written, assume it's base 10. When I divide log 0 0.05 by log of a half, I get 4.32 equals, so this cancelled out and I'm left with 15 over p. Multiply both sides by p, get rid of it, divide by 4.32, that's not a divide sign, uh, 4.32, and those will cancel out and I'll get p equals 15 over 4.32. 15 divided by 4.32 is 3.5 years. So the half-life of this substance was 3.5 years, and yeah, it took three and a half years with the half-life that made 15 years of radioactive decay of this substance turn 100 grams that we started with into only 5 grams.